Today, I will show you how to access an NPC device with no open ports in Greyhack. I'm a complete beginner, so I had a hard time finding a good method for this. So I want to share with you guys uh, what I've learned so far. There is a three big step we need to take. So uh, first, we need to create a reverse shell. Then we need to access a router connected to the target computer and use an exploit to gather all emails addresses from the target computer. And finally, we need to send a funny mail to uh, one user on the target uh, computer and take control of it. Basically, a reverse shell allows you to execute commands on a remote device that is connected uh, to your server. So start by renting an external server. You need to search for internet provider in your game browser and choose any av available option. Then you need to navigate to services and rent uh, the 3 megabyte server. After that, you will receive a mail with all the information you need to remotely connect to your server. Next, you need to visit the hack shop and purchase our shell server, our shell interface, and uh, librshell.so. Then you can install this tool on your server. You can now run our shell server in your server terminal and run the command they give you. Here uh, you can add an entry with the port 1222 for both external and internal ports. And for the LAN IP address you can use this one. Now you can save your entry and exit the browser. We will use uh, our shell interface later to listen to our reverse shell. Before doing anything, make sure you have nmap and scanlib. You can get those in the hack shop and in the regular shop. So basically what we are going to do is access the router connected to the target computer. And from there we can access the data of the target computer by using an exploit on the router. So by scanning the router lib folder we will find a vulnerability from one of the three library. So first init.so, kernel module.so or net.so. Then we will use one of the vulnerabilities to get the mails of the users on the target computer. And to do that we need to create our own exploit. I created my own script uh, by buying the source code of multiple exploits on the hack shop and use what I found to create the script that I'm using. I will put the script in the description, but I strongly recommend you to try and do it by yourself. It took me a few hours, but I learned a lot, and now I'm confident enough to create my own exploit without having to buy them in the hack shop. First, I define the parameters uh, we will use when running the command. Memory is the code of the memory zone where the vulnerability is. Vulnerability is the name of the vulnerability that we will use. IP address is the IP of the target computer. And lib is the library uh, where the vulnerability is. For instance, uh, init.so. Then we can import meta exploit and we will use um, overflow to exploit the vulnerability. Basically, this function can return different objects. Uh, depending on the vulnerability that we use. For instance, uh, it can be a file object, a shell object, or a computer object. Uh, so we need it to return a computer object. That's why we will use scanlib to search different vulnerabilities and use our script to find one that returns a computer object. Once we have a computer object, we use it to retrieve the data from the mail.txt of all users on the target computer. In my case, I'm in a network and I need to reach uh, this target. But as you can see on my um, terminal on the left, uh, this 
target has no open port so I need to find a switch or a router directly connect to my target and I need to connect to it. Once you are connected to the router or the switch you can add the build version of your script in the device. Don't forget to add metaexploit, scanlib and nmap. First, we need to find a vulnerability, so run scanlib on one of the library. For instance, I start by running the command on the init.so library. Then the script will give me a list of memory zone code. And select the first one. Then a list of vulnerability will show up. Now on another router terminal, we can run our custom script and use uh, these parameters. First the memory code we got, then the vulnerability name, the IP of the target device and the library uh, where the vulnerability is. So in my case it's uh, init.so. The script will tell you if you got a computer object and then we'll print all the content of mail.txt and if the object of the script uh, returned isn't a computer object, then you need to run the command again using a different vulnerability. If all the vulnerability for this memory zone didn't work, then try another memory zone. And if not, you need to scan another library to find new vulnerability on this library and start again until you find the mails. This isn't the most efficient method, but it's the first one that I found and it works for me, so I use it. Now that you have obtained uh, the user's emails, you can log into one of these email accounts and uh, compose an email to a target computer user with a funny game as a subject. You can configure the file attachment with the IP address of your server where the reverse uh, shell is running and the port 1222 for the port. After sending uh, the email, open the terminal of your remote server run our shell interface and you will notice a connection or your reverse shell then you can select this shell and you are now in the target computer i hope uh, this guide uh, helps you as a beginner i might have missed uh, something or there might be easier methods uh, if so please let me know in the comments bye, -bye.